Hi everyone, Paul here with Newegg TV. Today we have a quick tutorial video for you. We're going to show you how to swap out an AMD CPU. A couple months back we built this price and performance PC build, which currently features an AMD Athlon 2 X4 630, which is AMD's very reasonably priced quad core. Today we're going to upgrade to this, the Phenom 2 X6 1055T, which is AMD's 6 core CPU. So first, let's take a look at the tools you'll need for the job. So first you're going to want to have a flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver on hand, and that's just to get into your case. You're going to want your new CPU. This is a retail box version, so it includes a heat sink fan. And then finally, you're going to need to worry about the existing thermal paste in your machine. Now, thermal paste is a very thin layer of thermally conductive material. It sits on the bottom of your heat sink fan, right in between the heat sink fan and the CPU. If you buy a retail box CPU, such as this one, you'll get a stock heat sink fan, and that almost always comes with a little square of gray thermal paste pre-applied. So what we need to worry about for our installed CPU is removing that layer of thermal paste that's already on there and making sure we have a nice clean surface for installing our new CPU. Now some products out there that can help you with removing thermal material such as the Arctic Silver Thermal Material Remover and Surface Purifier. We're going to go with a bit more of a home brewed method today. We have some lighter fluid that we're going to use along with some coffee filters. You can also use a lint-free cloth as well as rubbing alcohol. But if you're using harsher fluids, make sure you're very careful not to drip any on your motherboard. Step one is just to turn your computer on and let it run for a few minutes to warm up the thermal paste. Once that's done, shut down and remove the side panel to access the interior. So next we're going to remove the existing heat sink fan. If you don't have a wrist strap to keep yourself grounded to the case, you can ground yourself by touching any exposed metal part of the case. That'll discharge any static electricity you have built up. You lift up on this latch here, and then the CPU, the heat sink fan should pop right off. Just give a little wiggle. And if your thermal paste is loosened up, it should lift off. Unplug the power for the, the fan, and you're all set. Now step three is to clean your thermal paste. Now we have a brand new CPU and a brand new heat sink fan, so we don't necessarily need to clean in order to get these installed. But if you're, if you're upgrading to an aftermarket CPU, or if you're planning to reuse your existing CPU or your heat, heat sink fan, you're going to want to get all that old thermal material removed so you can reuse the parts. Now that we've got the CPU nice and clean, I'm going to go ahead and pop it out. So step four is to remove your old CPU and install your new one. Just go ahead and lift on this little arm here. That will release the socket. Grip the sides of the CPU and pull it out. If you catch any resistance, then stop. You definitely don't want to damage any of these pins on the underneath. Set that safely aside. We have our new CPU here. Again, grip it by the edges. Try not to touch any of the gold contacts. And you'll see a little notch at the corner here. You want to line that up with the corner notch that's on the CPU bracket. You can also double check the pin arrangement on the bottom just to make sure that you're not installing it incorrectly. This requires zero insertion force. If you set it right on top of the socket, it should drop right in. It might take just a little bit of wiggling. But if it doesn't drop right in like that, never, ever, ever try to force down on the CPU. That's how you bend pins. That's how you break your CPU. Drop the latch back down. It's locked in place. And now we can move on to step five, which is to mount your new heatsink fan. Make sure you bear in mind where your little CPU header is. Remember the thermal paste is pre-applied, so we don't have to worry about that. If we were using an aftermarket heatsink fan, then we would apply a very, very thin layer, just enough to provide enough coverage there for the CPU. And this one will install just like the old one removed. So you hook one bracket over there. Once you have the brackets for both sides clipped on, you just pop this into place and it's latched on. Make sure it's nice and secure and your new CPU is installed. CPU header plugs back in. So now that your CPU is installed, you just need to worry about step six, which is to cure your thermal paste. And you can do this by getting a burn-in program such as Prime95 or Lynx. Basically, these programs run an algorithm and max out the load on your processor, which heats it up, 
cures the thermal paste and gives you a little bit uh, better temperatures overall. Also, by stress testing, you can confirm that your CPU is in workable condition and free from defects. This has been our tutorial for how to install an AMD CPU. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.